everything that's wrong with America. Right the fuck here. Right in front of you. On full display, y'all. Now, I know that y'all are going to get on to me because I don't have any children in my back seat. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I do not have children in my back seat. At least they used their turn signal though, right? You totally redeemed yourself. You totally redeemed yourself, even though you're so addicted to the TV that you have to have one in the back of your car so that your children can also be addicted to the TV. Oh, you know. If there were children in my back seat, I would not be driving. My husband would be driving, okay? In ideal, utopian, Amy Gross world where Amy Gross is not schizophrenic. We would not be driving this vehicle. Hopefully it wouldn't be a minivan though. Hopefully my husband would have more self-respect than to drive a minivan. Hopefully he'd have like a pickup truck or something. But, I think about that a lot. Like, if I had a husband, what would he be like? He probably wouldn't resemble anything like, you know, your typical average American dude, okay? They all sound gay now. Have you noticed that? All these men sound gay. They all have that, like, a creepy-ass trance voice. You know what I'm talking about? That, like, robot voice. Like, it's really scary if you think about it. Like, all the stuff that is in our society and our culture that we are always being subjected to. So, even if, like, I don't have a TV, you know, which I don't, the closest thing I have to a TV is my internet connection and my Wi-Fi. And I try not to pay too much attention to any of that. But I still can't get away from it though because there are always gonna be people that watch TV, people that have these smartphones always on their person at all times because God forbid, they might, they might just suffocate without it, right? Well, they are the products of the TV and the internet and the social media and all the lies and the bullshit, okay? It's just like all the kids I went to public school with that were really stupid and didn't question the history books. They just did what they were told. And they put their hand over their heart and they said the Pledge of Allegiance. They didn't have any idea what the fuck that meant, but they said it anyway. And they stood up when they were told to stand up. They sat down when they were told to sit down. They raised their hand to ask a question. I don't raise my hand to ask questions. Fuck that shit. That's propaganda right there. I have to like demean myself in order to ask a question. I have to be subservient to somebody in order to ask a question. That's a form of submission. Like these little dances that we do in order to please society that's falling apart for a reason. I know I've stated this previously. I wash my heart. I didn't show up to work today because my friend had to come over to fix my glasses. I cannot fucking see. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but these are drunk eyes right here, okay? 
and people tell me whenever they put these lenses on that they feel very intoxicated. But yeah, you see all that? <laughs> that is a massive amount of Gorilla Glue. And now, I was, prior to this morning, <laughs> I was just taking Gorilla Glue and like applying it on, uh, well, this fell off, the wing fell off, and then this little piece fell off too. So I, I glued this back together and then I put glue on this little frame right here and I, I stuck it in. But I think what happened was there was so much old ass glue that was <laughs> encased on, the, on this plastic that it was preventing my method from being able to work. So I had to call my friend to come over because he had said that he would fix my glasses if that's what I wanted. But I kept insisting that I didn't need his help. But as it turns out, a man knows better than a woman. Now, men just know how to fix stuff. That's why there isn't a Mrs. Fix It or a Miss Fix It. Okay? I need to write that down. That's funny. Because it's not really like... I don't think it's a sexist joke. It's just a, it's a true statement, you know? I kind of want to get away from this whole idea that like, oh, if you say something that is advocating for like a more traditional way of looking at the world around you, then that must mean that you hate an entire group of people. That's absolutely ridiculous. And Listen, if I hate an entire group of people, I have no problem admitting that. And I've totally admitted that I hate women. But the reason why I have traditional views of them is not because I hate them. It's because I want what's best for them. They wouldn't see it that way. But at the same time, I'm still not going to, like, get all up in somebody's face and try to tell them what to do. Because that's fucking stupid. And I don't agree with anybody doing that. I don't care how right they think they are about anything. They're obviously not right if that's their tactic. So, cause it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's just gonna make that person rebel. And then it's gonna make that person think that anybody that subscribes to the philosophy that you're trying to push on them, every single person is just like you, a fucking piece of shit narcissist that insists on everybody else conforming to your belief system. Now, I probably sound like I'm making excuses for bad people. If that's how you view it, I'm sorry that that's how you've interpreted all this, but that's not what we intend to do. But we wanna come up with the best possible way to combat all the things that we find problematic in our society, not give those motherfuckers even more ammo, okay? So, it's better to be calculated about these things rather than to have this knee-jerk impulse reaction like so many people do here in America. So. Unfortunately, you know, they never taught people how to, you know, respond rather than react. Ooh, somebody, somebody texts me. Ronit. That's my Jew, if you didn't know. Yes, my best friend's Jewish, so. She doesn't run anything, though. I wish she did. That would be really cool if she had any say in the direction of this country, but unfortunately she doesn't. It's only the secular Jews. <laughs>